Hola. Sí, Roberto. Hoy es la chimenea para mi proyecto. No, Roberto. ¿Por qué? Porque está, está mal lograda y si la prende me puedes quemar la casa. Compré nueva casa. ¿Cómo que voy a comprar nueva casa? ¿Sabes lo que estás hablando, huevón? Solo lo que pone aquí es tú. ¿Qué me dijiste? Nada, nada. Na, Repite, na, ¿qué na, dijiste? Na, nada, nada. Man, Mucho na. cuidadito nomás si te rompen los... I made around you a little bit more tighter. Maybe now you realize that you don't have a choice. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> as you can see, I am Marina Sanchez, the, the mother of my son, who you may know, Roberto Suarez. I have a picture showing up here right before him. <laughs> Anyways, here's the story about me when I worked as a nurse in the hospital. My training hours commence. Flashback. So during my early years, I worked as a nurse in a hospital, and boy did I experience things. As fun as it was, learning the ropes, I also found myself doing some very interesting patients. One of them we'll call Moko. Moko was very sick, and I took care of him until he got better, but little did I know, Moko was loco, and uh, so was his family. And so once he got out of the hospital, all better and all, they went to visit me and, uh, say thank you for taking such good care of him. But the way they did this was very, um, odd. They would run around the hospital with two live roosters and eggs screaming my name and handing the eggs to me. And because of that, my co-workers gave me a whole new name to, just for the embarrassment. Heard Fred Magakolo. But as embarrassing as that was, I'll never forget one patient that I stayed to till the end. His name was Jose, and Jose had terminal cancer. And out of all the nurses that went up to help him, he would always pick me in request for my company. Because out of all the nurses, I was the one that treated him the best. I would bathe him, spend time with him, and even feed him. And even though sometimes he was difficult, I would still be there for him. Even though we may have died, because of him, I grew and learned to be patient with everyone, every single patient. Because deep down, once you get to know them, you can make them even a great new friend. I'm glad I had the chance to be a nurse and get my service hours, because for that, it taught me a lot. It grew me as a person. A person that raised the beautiful boy you see today, my son. And that's the story <laughs> when I worked as a nurse in the hospital, long time ago. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Now, that story kind of made me a little bit tired, so. I'm gonna try and go hit the hay, alright? I'll see you later. But uh but before I go, I need to tell you don't even don't even bother struggling, you know? As far as the police and your parents are concerned, I made you disappear. Okay. Uh, alright. You have a nice night now. <laughs> Derp 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 der